I'm Sonia Altizer. I'm a professor of ecology here at the University of Georgia and I'm the director of Project Monarch Health and I've been studying monarchs for 25 years. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to carefully mark monarch wings. Some of our volunteers have noticed that we recommend that volunteers mark the monarch's wings with a permanent marker as part of the instructions for Project Monarch Health. So this is one of the final steps. So whether you catch a wild adult butterfly in the field or raise a monarch from an egg or a caterpillar stage, um, then to participate in Monarch Health, you would be pressing that sticker on the monarch's abdomen and you would also be recording the sex and other information about that monarch on your Monarch Health data sheet. And then before you release the monarch in the wild, some volunteers have marked the monarch's wings so that if they catch that same monarch again, they'll know that they've already sampled it. So to carefully mark the monarch's wings, we recommend that volunteers use an ultra-fine Sharpie marker, which has a very fine tip. So we just want to put a small mark on the monarch's wings. And so I have here um, a monarch butterfly in a glassy envelope, and I'm going to write on its wings. So we can write uh, a small dot on the wing or a really small line on the wing to indicate that that monarch has already been sampled. And we recommend that volunteers put the mark in the discal cell of the hind wing, which is the same location that you would put a monarch watch tag if you are tagging monarchs through your Project Monarch Watch. So this is a monarch that has a monarch watch tag in the discal cell of its hind wing. Now, if our volunteers are tagging monarchs with Project Monarch watch tags or other tags, as an alternative to marking the wing with an ultra-fine Sharpie marker, you can just use the tag as your mark and then in the notes column of the data sheet, write down the tag ID number in this notes column on the data sheet. And so if I release this monarch into the wild, and then captured it again later, I would know that I've already sampled it for monarch health. Now we've heard reports that some volunteers have found monarchs that were previously marked that have really large uh, permanent marker marks on their wings, almost striking through the entire wing, and that's not necessary. So we really recommend that those marks on the monarch's wings be very small and that people use a very fine-tipped um, Sharpie marker to make those marks so that they're exposing a very little amount of the wing surface area to the ink from the marker. So we recommend that monarchs not be marked heavily using a thicker permanent marker to make a wide spot or to cover a substantial portion of the monarch's wings. So this marker would be too thick for marking a monarch's wings. That's why we recommend volunteers use these ultra-fine Sharpie markers. And again, the marks can be very small, so we don't need to fill an entire wing cell with the mark, and we don't need to make a slash with the marker across the monarch's entire wing. If volunteers do mark monarch's wings, make a mark that's a little too big, we have never seen evidence ourselves that this would harm the monarch or damage its wings, although we do note that there are some individuals that have concerns that the ink from permanent markers, if it's applied over a large area of the monarch's wings, might damage some of the wing scales. Thanks so much for listening. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram at Project Monarch Health and subscribe to our Project Monarch Health YouTube channel.